My name is Stormy Atkin. My husband's name is Jordan. Uh, we just met through mutual friends and we've been married for a little over four years. Um, so for our first two years of marriage, we just went to school and we traveled a ton, just had so much fun. And then we were graduating college and we went on a graduation trip to Paris. And when we got home, we found out we were pregnant with our first baby. And we were so excited, um, everything just was falling into place, and um, we found out it was a boy. We were so ecstatic about that, and we were looking for a house. Um, every point that we went to was just perfect. He was healthy, he was measuring on track, his heartbeat was strong, everything was just great. Um, and around 21 weeks pregnant-ish, around that time, I was just laying in bed and I started having really bad cramping, which I found out later was contractions. Um, but at the time it was my first pregnancy, I had no idea you know, what was going on. Um, premature labor isn't talked about as much, so I didn't really know what to expect. So we arrived at the emergency room and I found out I was in preterm labor and I was dilated to a five so there was nothing that any of the doctors could do to stop my labor and um, unfortunately because Rodney, which is what we decided to name him, was um, 21 weeks. Um, the, the hospital doesn't offer any life-saving um, procedures until the baby is 24 weeks. So we were just right on that line of missing that. So the hardest part for me was just coming to terms with delivering this perfect healthy baby that I would just have to hold as he passed away. Um, so I was willed up to labor and delivery and I just remember like looking at the ceiling in the hospital and just seeing my reflection and I just felt like I was in a bad dream. Like this, I just felt out of body experience where I just did not feel like I was this was even happening to me, it just felt unreal. And so I got up to labor and delivery and my labor was about eight hours long. Um, and then Rodney was finally born and I had such a great team of nurses and doctors, they treated it just as any other birth. And when he was born, um, we were really nervous just because when they're so tiny like that, you don't know if they're gonna be able to live through the contractions or any of that and when he was born um, he was alive and they set him on my chest and he was just the sweetest little baby he just cuddled up on my chest and we started talking to him and he just recognized our voices and um, he reached out his fingers to hold on to, he reached out his hand to hold on to our fingers and he just had the tiniest hands they were like so small all they could do is just wrap around our fingers and um we just told him that we loved him and we're so sorry this happened and he only lived for three minutes but it was just the best time ever that we were able to spend those three minutes with him and he was just the sweetest um he was just the sweetest little soul ever so i have met so many women who have also had losses um they're all so different, but just having their support and understanding during, you know, this these past two years has helped me get through this, you know, in such a better way. And I've learned that um, in order to get through things, we have to go through them. And it's so important to fill every single emotion that you have, you know, anger, sadness, whatever it may be. Um, that's how you're going to get through this and you learn to live a life of grief and joy. I have such a happy life. Um, I love my family so much and I also grieve and I miss Rodney so much and it's possible for us to have both of those things together um, and I'm so grateful for that. Just lean on to your friends and your family. Allow yourself to feel everything that you feel. Um, get a good therapist. Don't be afraid to go to therapy and talk this out. Um, have grace with yourself and know that this isn't something that you're just going to go through stages and move on from. It's something you're going to carry with you through life. But you are going to learn how to hold the grief and the joy and you're going to be happy again.